Hey YouTube, uh, I just wanted to do an update on the video that I made about uh, MRSA drug resistant um, staff. Basically, uh, I think I figured out the reason that, I, that I've been getting it and I could help maybe some other people. Well, I, what I realized is that every time that I've gotten it, and I've gotten it about three times since I've been in Thailand, um, is when I've been living in air-conditioned places. Funny enough, when I was living in really, really dirty places, like I was even living in a place where it was full of rats and cockroaches and I was pretty much sleeping on a mattress on the floor and there were cats and it was just really, really dirty. I, I didn't get sick at all. I lived in a, you know, a few places like that and they didn't have air conditioning, I just had a fan. And I had no problems whatsoever. And then every time that I've been staying in a place that uh, has air conditioning, that, you know, I, I'm renting it and it's a very clean, modern apartment uh, I've gotten staff, and I've never, really never used air conditioning, you know, in my life before. But here, you don't really have a choice, you know, because you rent an apartment that has an air conditioner, and I didn't, I, it didn't feel like buying a fan. But like I said, as soon as I moved into those places, like literally like a week after I started using the air conditioning, I, I would get some sort of a staph infection. But I couldn't really understand why. I mean, I figured if it was nice and cool and clean and everything, I wouldn't get it. But uh, the more I think about it now, it's just that the way that these um, places are built in Thailand, it's made out of all out of concrete and uh, tile, right? And then you have a, like a small air conditioner with a big fan. And in, in theory, it should be like drying out the room, right? But the thing is, is that the fan is blowing so fast, it doesn't have time to suck all that moisture out. So the hot, humid air becomes cool but it retains the humidity in your room. And then that, and also I'm taking showers in here and I have the um, window closed to, to save the air conditioning so I'm not wasting a lot of money. And then I'm cooking in here and making teas and that's all adding to the humidity in my room. And it's ending up like it's condensing everywhere. You know, I can almost, you can feel it when you walk around, like you can feel like a sort of a mist on the floor. I think that's what it is, you know, that the uh, air conditioning, one, it's like actually humidifying the room, and then also just the air conditioning in general is just bad for your skin and just unnatural. So I noticed like at the other apartment I had, I w ended up buying a fan, and as soon as I did, then the staff went away. It's only, I mean, it makes sense to me, so I'm going to try and do that is buy another fan because I, I got a, I got a, like a, a staph infection on my chest, but the strange thing is that this is another thing that I think you can try as like a cure because it seems to have worked for me. Yesterday, I wish I would have taken a video, but I have like, it was here, you know, it became like a, uh, a pimple, it looked like a staph pimple. It had a, uh, there was pus. It was like literally full of pus. I took um, a thousand, uh, micrograms of um, vitamin C three times and literally like the pus it turned black like the inside of it turned like blackish reddish like it, it just filled up with blood it seemed like and then today one day later it's gone it was like a boil that basically just disappeared within one day I've never seen that before whenever I've had like stuff before it it just continued and continued for like a couple weeks. I had to go on antibiotics in order to get rid of it. So I don't know. Those, those are two, uh, two things that I can think of, you know, that can help you out. Try and like stay away from air conditioning. I mean, obviously, you know, you need to ventilate your air if you're living in a hot tropical place. Like I'm going to go and buy a fan right now. And, uh, or if you are going to use air conditioning, I just realized on, on this air conditioning, it has a dry setting. So now, right now, before I can go and get the fan, I'm using the dry setting. That should help to uh, dehumidify your um, room. And then every time I'm going to cook now, I just open up the windows and doors and turn off the air conditioning. And then when I take a shower, I'm going to mop as well to try and like limit the humidity in here. And uh, you could try mega dosing vitamin C. It seems to have worked for me. Uh, just an update. Thanks.